Welcome back. In this week's edition of the Business Review, we take a look at a creative startup company with big dreams of breaking into new markets. Andrew Laidley reports. Bar House is a local creative company which creates houseware items like porcelain, furniture, lighting fixtures, and soft furnishings. Founder and creative lead Dana Barr admitted that she started the business as a side hustle in 2012. At that time, the entrepreneur was operating out of a laundry room. Now, Bar House has a factory space of its own with hopes of expansion on the horizon. I built my business with um, a local market, within the local market. I'm not in every store and I'm not the leader in the market for the, types of, the type of product that I make. However, I would like to expand that internationally. Um, export is a large part of the plan for, for me because I consider myself to be a future great Jamaican brand. And therefore, I have to export and expand internationally to be able to fulfill that dream. She says starting a creative business wasn't easy, but she notes that if done right, there can be lasting rewards. We as Jamaicans consume a lot. Someone had to make those things. Someone had to design those things. We buy them from China. We buy them from India. We buy them from the US, the UK, all over the world. So obviously there are people all over the world making money from being in a creative based business. So therefore, it stands to reason that we could also do the same, but we have to be a little bit more strategic and business minded when it comes to creating a product. And she's not doing it alone. She noted that the company is now in recruitment mode with a view to increasing its production capacity in the near term. We do need one or two more team members that will help to increase our capacity so we can meet demand, um, which we're currently trying to find. Um, trying to fill those positions this year. Um, and why, the reason why I say this year is because our training period is so long. So we don't just hire people willy-nilly. We have to hire and train. And a lot of people, it takes them some time to kind of figure out if they want to be with us as well um, and if it would be a good working relationship. But even as the entrepreneur positions her business for the international market, she argues that the fees associated with export is a major deterrent. But I see it as a hindrance to our development and as a business owner it really does um it, it feels it's burdensome because at the end of the day when you have to pay over additional fees to the government out of your profit margin it can hurt your business and prevent you from growing andrew Laidley, tvj news